Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be kind of like spring, summer inspired because it is very snowy where I live and I hate snow and I hate the cold so I'm thinking warm and I'm thinking like spring time with all the you know butterflies and stuff like that that's out during spring time and summer. And I'm taking inspiration from one of my personal favorite butterflies, which is the monarch butterfly. I think it's very beautiful. I think it goes from a very ugly kind of really caterpillar to a really beautiful butterfly. So I'm taking inspiration from those and the colors of the butterfly, which is orange and black and a little bit of white, actually. And I am going to create a look inspired by that. So first I am going to go into my chamois palette and I am going to take this, I think it's like a dark orange, I guess, and I am going to take my Real Techniques, uh, this is the shading brush, and I am just going to apply that color all over my lid. It is very cold where I live right now. It's snowy and I just I don't like it. I hate snow. I don't like winter. But I do gotta say we were lucky and got winter a little later than we usually do. We usually get it at the end of October and we didn't get true, true winter until just about a week ago. So, I do gotta say, I am thankful for that. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more on this side. Not quite the color I want. Okay, good. And then I'm going to take the other side of this brush and pick up a light, any light brown that you have. I'm just going to use like a little bit of a brown because the colors aren't like, it's not true orange. It's like a, some of them are brownie orange like type colors. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of brown. Just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take my crown brush and I'm going to use the uh, crease side of it and pick up a this black in my palette here and I'm going to take that on the outside corner and then I'm going to blend it with the other side of the brush and then I'm taking I'm just going to keep going back in and I am taking it into the crease, the black into the crease. And then taking the edge of that blending side and just blending that crease out so it's not so harsh. And then just go to the other side and do the same thing. I'm not really picking up any other extra color for the crease. I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush and just 
bringing it into the crease. There we go. Now I'm going to go in with that same black and I'm going to use my angle brush and take that black on the lower lash line. the glare from the window. I not realize it was glaring. Okay. There we go. Maybe we'll change the setting in there. Yeah. Just like that. Now I am going to go in with my, this is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's a Kajal eyeliner, zero and uh, zero four. It's a black eyeliner from Dr. Pujaka. I don't know. And oh wait, no, that's not the color I want. This is the color I want. This is a Palladio eyeliner. It's actually a gray color, but it comes out pretty, pretty dark. So yeah. And I'm just a bit in the waterline. And the tight line. Don't worry if you get a little bit on the lid because we're going to line the lid with a liquid eyeliner. Okay. Now you could totally leave it like this it it totally would work but because i like to go all out and i can i am going to take this new eyeliner i just got in my ipsy bag this month it is the you you're so fine liquid eyeliner and it's got a little bit of glitter in it it's from elizabeth mott I think that's what it says. And it's just this really pretty, I feel like I opened it, I got it all over the place. So there we go. It's just uh, like what eyeliner. It's got little bits of glitter in it, but it's a black eyeliner. And I'm going to line the lid with that. Kind of like the stripes on a butterfly. That's why I'm lining the lid. Okay. And then I'm going to go in on the other side.
Okay, last. Let's okay. Um just like that. It's just this little bit of a little bit of a line. Not not anything too extravagant, no wing or anything. Just enough to kind of assimilate um the lines on the wing of a monarch. I am now going to go back in and kind of take a more bright orange, I guess, and go back over that orange that I put on because the majority of a monarch butterfly is orange, so I don't want this black to take away from that orange at all. So I'm just gonna go back in and then kind of brighten up, brighten up that orange just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply this voluminous false fiber lashes. I actually have a tattoo of a monarch butterfly right there. I got that like two years ago or so because it's my favorite butterfly ever. It's on a lotus flower, so that's one of my favorite flowers ever. So, and they both kind of do the same thing. They come up, you know, they're one's an ugly caterpillar turns into the most beautiful butterfly ever. And then the other comes up through the mud and the muck of the ponds and is a gorgeous, beautiful flower. So I, I kind of can relate to both flowers, or to both of those things. Been through a lot and I'm still strong kind of why I can relate to those those two. That and ever since my grandma passed away, I had in the summertime at least, I had seen a lot of monarch butterflies. And when I was in my Celtic, I, I went to a Celtic, um, Celtic nature class in college, and my spirit guide, spirit animal, was a monarch butterfly. So I've seen a lot of them since she passed away. So kind of special to me. Okay, now. For the lips, I don't want this the lips to take away from the eyes, so I am going to take this Ulta lipstick. It's in the shade 243, and it's a very light pink. Let's put a little bit on that a lot. And that is the completed monarch inspired look. It's mainly an eye look. I just came up with it because, like I said, I love monarch butterflies and I'm thinking of warm and summer right now because it is cold. It is like, I don't know, 19 degrees outside, which is really, really cold. I don't know if it's probably colder than that actually since it's pretty blowy snowy outside so um yeah that is the look if you like this look give it a big thumbs up for me and comment below on your favorite kind of butterfly and maybe I'll look it up and do a look inspired by your guys' favorite butterflies or moths moths can be pretty too and I've seen a lot of really cool looking moths so just comment below on your favorite butterfly or your favorite moth or if you have kind of flower, you know, like think warm, think summertime and spring and all that. And I will do a look inspired by those. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. 
down below and yeah I have I'll have a link down below to my Instagram my Twitter and my Facebook I I will post pictures on my Instagram of every single look that I do and my Facebook and my Twitter I update you guys on all of the things that are going on with this channel and if I can't put a video up or if I do put an extra video up or a collaboration or something you'll find out on my Facebook so I'll have the links down below to that and that's about it don't forget that you're beautiful just the way you are and I love you and I'll see you in the next video bye guys